The chilling history of refrigerators and how they try to kill us at first. Before refrigerators, keeping food fresh meant salting it like a driveway or burying it nice and hoping raccoons didn't get there first. So how do we go from meat sellers to Wi-Fi smart fridges that judge our snack habits? Let's break the ice. The icebox era, aka the old food coffin. In 1800s, rich people basically used ice boxes, wooden boxes with big chunks of ice inside. That's it. That was the whole fridge. You had to hire a guy that would bring you ice every week like it was Game of Thrones. And it melted constantly. So your cold storage smelled like milk and regret. The first fridge almost killed people. In the early 1900s, people started using chemical refrigerants like ammonia, sulfur dioxide, and methylene chloride. And fun fact, those are also great ways to die in your kitchen. They leaked, they exploded. One woman reportedly passed out mid-sandwich and never finished it. Enter safe cooling. In 1928, scientists invented Freon, a less deadly gas that didn't knock you out or set your house on fire. Everyone was like, cool, let's put this in everything. So we did. Cars, fridges, air conditioners, all of it. Then in the 80s, scientists were like, hey, what's this giant hole in the sky? Oops, Freon was eating the ozone. Modern fridge era. Now we've got fridges that talk, make ice cubes and fun shapes, and even text you when you're out of oat milk. We've come a long way from here's a box of gas and frostbite. So yeah, your fridge, it keeps food fresh, made your ancestors jealous, and almost exploded grandma in 1923. Respect the fridge. Like, subscribe, and stay cold out there.